Hi Booktube, Lynette here and I have a confession to make. I'm not doing very well with the book buying ban. <laughs> I've bought more books. Um, yes, some of them were planned, some of them weren't. Uh, but yes, let's uh, let's talk you through all the books that I've picked up all during the month of September. So the first set of books I'm going to talk to you about is from a subscription box. This is the A Box of Stories subscription service. They um, have a deal with publishers that they take on books um, that haven't been ordered in by bookstores um, and are just going to get sent for pulping. Obviously they have to pay for those. But what they've done is they have put together a set of different type of books and you can have a subscription that you get sent for books um, either monthly I think you can do bi-monthly I'm not sure but you can definitely do every three months and the subscription service I have is one box every four months I've also taken out the fantasy and science fiction box um, but you can have a light reads box uh, I think there is a young adult box uh, I think there's a crime box and I think there's another one but what that one is escapes me right now but the first books I'm going to talk to you about are the books that came in my box in September so I don't really know what each one of them is about um, only one of them have I vaguely heard anything about before so uh, and again but I still don't really know anything about it that's the whole point of this service is it's getting books out there that aren't really known about because they haven't been publicised as heavily as, as other books um, or just they just aren't heard of. So the first bo book that came out of the box was Autonomous by Anna Lee Newitz. Uh, this is set on Earth in 2144 about a woman called Jack who produces drugs um, that she then sells at profit but they are dupes of drugs that people need to stay healthy. Um, unfortunately, she has produced a bad batch of these drugs and they're causing lethal overdoses. She is uh, being hunted down by a um, military agent and his partner um, and they form a bond, um, or at least the agent and his partner form a bond. But there is an underlying question, is freedom possible in a culture where everything, even people, can be owned? So this is science fiction, very, very clearly. Um, science fiction is not really my kind of first choice. I would have preferred more fantasy books. Um, but it sounds quite interesting. Um, it's probably not going to get to the top of the pile very, very quickly. But I should imagine that maybe doing challenges or something in future readathons, it will probably meet some kind of challenge and I'll pick it up then. The second book that came out of the box is The Return of the Incredible Exploding Man by Dave Hutchinson. This is about a man, Alex Dolan, who is hired to write a report on the Sioux uh, Super Collider. Um, but something goes wrong on the site and he is the only one left who can save the Earth. Um, so, yeah, that's all there is about it. That's all it says on the back. Um, so it sounds quite interesting. Again, very sci-fi, so maybe not quite one that's going to go to the top of my reading list, but um, it does sound quite interesting. Um, it does sound kind of more my sort of thing than maybe the, the last one was. Um, so yes, again, it's probably one that's going to fit a challenge really quite well in future readathons. The third book out of the box actually really does sound quite like something I want to read and that is The Trials of Solomon Parker by Eric Scott Fischel. Fish Not quite sure how to pronounce it, I'm sorry if I've butchered it. This is set in 1916 so it's historical fiction fantasy um, which sounds really really right up my street right at the moment. It's set in 1916 and it's about Solomon Parker and his protege Billy Morgan. Um, Apparently the gods aren't happy, they're sending one of them to Earth to uh, roll the dice and see what happens. Don't really know much more about it than that. Sounds really, really interesting. Um, when I actually showed this one to my mum, she actually said, oh yeah, that sounds really good. And my mum's not a fantasy reader by any stretch of the imagination. So for her to think that this was interesting, then yes, there's got to be something about the blurb that really has drawn her in. So again, another one that 
probably going to make it to the top of the reading list sooner than the others but definitely definitely one that uh, is on the radar at the moment the final one that came out of the box was a hardback book and this is the one that i'd vaguely heard something about and that is every sky grave by jay posey uh this is again a science fiction um set off earth um so mankind has conquered the galaxy um but if a planet deviates too far from the laws that are set uh then there is a an agency that goes to quell it but obviously um things people decide that actually things aren't quite as they seem and maybe the rules aren't quite what they should be i am a huge star trek fan i absolutely adore star trek so this sounds kind of like star trek in book format to me um and i really want to pick this one up very very soon so i'm it's probably going to be in an upcoming um wrap up because i just adore it i love the cover as well the cover is gorgeous um so yes very very happy that i got this one in the book box um and very very much looking forward to reading this one so then i went to the library to pick up my uh, book club pick for the month and this month we are reading where the forest meets the stars by glendy vandera uh this is about joe and gabe um who are neighbors Jo is getting over the death of her mum, I think, um, and a mysterious child called Ursa turns up on their doorstep. She says she's from the stars and that she has to perform five miracles before she can go back. Jo and Gabe start to take care of Ursa, look after her because she needs adult supervision, adult uh, care as well, because she is just a child. Um, and it's about the progression of the relationship between the three of them really looking forward to picking this one up i'm filming this kind of just after mid-month um so i've got to read this in the next week or i'm going to be late for book club um but it's one of the books that has really really intrigued me that we've picked up for the book club and again the reason we picked it is because the word where is in the title so looking forward to getting to that one this coming week so while I was in the library waiting to check the book out, um, there was a stand there for new books and this one was there and caught my eye. And it is The Witch's Heart by Genevieve Gornacek. Um, it is about Angaboda, who is a witch, um, and her story starts with being burnt. So uh, she's been discovered as a witch, she's been tried as a witch. Um, and then from there she is banished and she meets the god Loki. Uh, so there's some retelling of uh, Viking myths, um, Viking gods in here, which I'm really in the mood for anyway at the moment. So I'm kind of any kind of myth and god retelling, I'm really in the mood for. So when I saw this, um, yes, I definitely, when I saw it on the back. Anyway, Angaboda forms a relationship with Loki and they hide away from the world. Only Angaboda has to get go back out into the world um, and use her powers again. And it's what happens after that. So I'm really looking forward to reading this one. I've got to read it in the next few weeks to get it back to the library. So it's definitely going to be one that is picked up very, very soon. Um, but yeah, I thought I would show it to you, even though it's a library haul. And then after I had been to the library um i met up with my mum in town and she wanted to pop into the charity shop where she helps out so i went with her and i took a look at the bookshelves not gonna lie i was looking um but yes i picked up two books i have already read one of them i don't actually own but the other one i have an ebook copy of but the first one of those is meet me in london by georgia toffolo and the second one is meet me in hawaii by george again by georgia toffolo so like I say, I've read both of these books this year. I had Meet Me in London as an advanced copy from NetGalley and thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, Meet Me in Hawaii, I did purchase the ebook copy, um, but I did think if I was going to buy the paperback copy of Meet Me in London, I might as well buy the paperback copy of Meet Me in Hawaii. It's put £2 in the till of a charity that I very much support. Um, so yeah these books are it's a set of four books uh fourth one isn't out yet but the third one 
has come out recently i think um and i've read all three it's about four friends who had an accident when they were teenagers that's left long lasting um effects on their lives and their bodies and it's about them meeting and falling in love with their other halves thoroughly enjoyed them they're really light fun reads and i'm looking forward to when the fourth book comes out whenever that may be now i have one more book that has been picked up in the charity shop uh, my mum picked this up for me when she told me they had it there i just want to put a disclaimer ahead of talking about this book because i know that this author is now very much classed as problematic um because of allegations that have been made by her children posthumously she she is now passed away as well so she can't answer for herself um it is a book that i read many many years ago long before any of these allegations came out and it's one of those books that when i cleared my bookshelves a few years ago i got rid of and didn't really want to however i did want a copy for my shelves i didn't want to purchase a brand new copy um, I know that if I bought it now because she's passed away the money would go to her estate but again it kind of felt wrong to buy one so I thought buying one second hand is going to put money in the charity pot um, for a charity that I do uh, wholeheartedly support um, but at the same time I'm not supporting the author um, in a way but the book is The Miss of Avalon by Marion Zimmer Bradley this is a retelling of the Arthur legends from the point of view of the women at the time. So Morgana and um, Guinevere. Um, and yes, um, I've read it a couple of times and uh, it's really heavy going. It's quite a chunky book. It's quite heavy going. There's a lot more in here than you normally get from the Arthur tellings. Um, it's a lot richer than some of the Arthur tellings that you get. Um, I think probably because there's more of a story built into it rather than just the, the myth um, itself. So it is one that I want to reread at some point. It's probably not going to be a reread anytime particularly soon, but it is one that I wanted to put back on my shelves. Um, I just think it's probably going to be filed under Z, so it's right at the bottom and not visible on my shelves for anybody watching who might be triggered by the problems that this author represents. So this is confession time. All those books, subscription already, you know, I'm allowed those subscription books, um, supported a charity library because, you know, I'm not buying books if I go to the library. However, um, if you've watched a lot of my videos, you know that I'm currently living at home with my mum um, while I'm looking for somewhere to live. I have found somewhere and I have started the process of buying. And I had an appointment uh, yesterday, the day before I'm filming this, with the mortgage advisor to finalise our my mortgage application and get it uh, put in um, and also other forms that had to be filled in. But I was early for my appointment, so to kill some time, I went into Waterstones and I went in specifically to pick up one book and I picked up that one book. Um, however, I did pick up a couple of others as well while I was in there. So there's the problem. So I spent about £20 more than I intended to. Um, yeah, uh, but anyway, the first book. I'm not as embarrassed about buying as maybe I am the third book that I'm going to show you. But this book is Dragon City by Katie and Kevin Sang. This is the third book in the Dragon Realm series that I've been reading this year. Um, so you will have seen in previous wrap ups that I've read Dragon Mountain and Dragon Legend. Sorry to go off screen there um, earlier on this year. They are the first and second books in the series. This is the third book. It's recently been released. And this is um, about Billy who disappeared in the second book. And he's been thrown into the future and he doesn't have his dragon. So he's getting a view of what the world will look like when the dragon of death comes into power. And he has to get back to his friends. I'm not going to say any more than that because to say any more about the series would spoil it for you. So. Yes, if you have a 9 to 12 year old, this 
series would be excellent for them. I'm absolutely loving it. I've told my nephew, my nine-year-old, ten-year-old nephew multiple times now that he needs to read the series, that it's really great. Um, and I'm really glad that I did actually think to myself while I was in Waterstones, let's go and have a look and see if, because I know um, you can't quite see Starfell series, book three is due out. I went actually to the kids section to look at that, but it's still in hardback at the moment. And then I saw Dragon City there as well. So yeah, glad I picked that one up. That one's not quite so bad. So the next book that I picked up is the one that I went in there for, and that is Circe by Madeline Miller. Um, I've recently read The Song of Achilles, absolutely adored it, and really, really liked Madeline Miller's writing. Now, I've heard that Circe is a lot drier in the telling than Song of Achilles is, but this is about Circe, who is the daughter of the god Helios, and it's about... Um, how she's banished by the gods because her gift is of witchcraft is seen to be dangerous um but it's also about um her meeting with odysseus i'm really enjoying um myth retellings at the moment i said that earlier on um so this is right up my street um i'm currently reading ariadne by jennifer saint really really enjoying that one um so yes when I really enjoyed Song of Achilles, I had to pick up Circe as well and see how I get on with this one. Hopefully not as bad as people. some people have made it out to be in the telling. Um, maybe I can get through this one um, as well and enjoy it just as much. And this final book in this haul and the last one that I'm going to show you and the last one that I picked up in Waterstones is the one that I should never have had. And that book is A Thousand Ships by Natalie Haynes. I picked this one up because I picked up Circe. They were right next to each other on uh, the display stand where Circe was. Um, and this is another Greek myth retelling. This is the telling of what happened after the fall of Troy and it's told from the perspective of the women. I'm quite enjoying the female perspective of a lot of these myths. Um, because I don't think actually enough attention has been paid to them in the past. I think if you read a lot of um, the historical uh, tellings, myth tellings, they are very much focused on the men in the story. And I'm really enjoying seeing these stories told from the points of view of the women. So this one is no exception. And again, while I'm on this Greek myth retelling kick, then I had to pick it up. I think I've seen mixed views about this online so I'm not sure if I'm going to enjoy it or not. I say this is kind of a move away from the norm for me so my my usual go-to genres are heavily romance or fantasy so to be reading these sorts of stories is moving away very much from what I'm comfortable with so uh, but I have been doing that more that's why I joined the book club that I'm in because I knew it would push me away from my comfort zone. So yeah, hopefully I will enjoy this one as much as I have the others that I've read so far. So those are the 12 books that I have picked up in the month of September. I have no intention of picking up any more books. I'm telling a lie. I've got a romance book called, I can't remember what it's called. I'll pop it up here for you. I've pre-ordered it. It's due out on the 21st. Um, I'm really looking forward to reading it. It's about a woman whose brother is in a rock band and she is in love with one of the other band members. He's in love with her, but band bandmate's little sister is off limits. So it's a secret relationship, um, and I'm looking forward to reading it. Uh, the Some of the teasers that the author has put online have been quite hot. Um, so they really did draw me in, I have to admit. I haven't read anything that's really hot and steamy for quite a while, so... Looking forward to picking those up, picking that one up um, when it comes out. Um, definitely think it's going to be one that I save for next weekend because I go away for a few days next weekend. Um, but yeah, I might save that for potential rainy days shut away in a little shepherd's hut in the middle of nowhere. Um, so yes, those are the 13 books then that I have bought in the month of September. I don't, I don't intend to pick up any more, I promise. Um, 
and I'm going to try and do better in set in October, November and December. Um, hopefully the only books I get in December are books I asked for for Christmas. That's the end of the video. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Have you seen any books that you're intrigued by? If you have, please let me know in the comments down below. And I put up videos every Monday at 6.30pm. And I will see you all again in the next one. Bye.